Good afternoon. On behalf of BMW India, I would like to welcome all of you. I would now like to introduce you to Mr. Peter Constable, the President of BMW India. Mr. Peter Constable. Thank you very much, Abhin. Ladies and gentlemen, Namaskar, BMW Pavilion, Meatka Swagate. It gives me a great joy to welcome you at the BMW Pavilion at the Auto Expo 2010. I hope you had a wonderful 2009 and I would like to wish you a prosperous and a happy new year ahead. Today, I'm proud to announce that BMW India is number one in the luxury car segment in India and portrays a symbol for dynamic and forward striving people. We have managed to increase our market share in the luxury car segment of the Indian automotive market to over 40%, coming from 9% in the calendar year 2006. With 3,619 cars delivered to customers in 2009, BMW India has achieved the highest sales by a manufacturer in the luxury car segment in a year till date. 2009 has not been an easy year for the automotive industry and that, and that applies equally to BMW. Who would have thought at the start of the year that we would see so much turmoil in the auto industry within a matter of months? During the course of the year, the developments in the financial markets and economic systems shook the very framework and the mechanisms of the auto industry. Consumers were naturally concerned and their lack of confidence reflected in re reluctance to buy new vehicles. BMW India was faced with challenges no less than any other automobile manufacturer and was confronted with strong pressure from beginning of the year. Seen in this light, a distinctive course defines not only what you do and how you do it, but also what you do not do. If you concentrate on your strengths and anticipate the challenges of the market, novel solutions can be found. The difference is decisive. It is the difference between being pushed and making your own way, between imitating and pioneering, between quick results due to short-term actions and the lasting success generated by your own growth. We decided to stand our ground in a fiercely competitive environment with new ideas and the strengths to promote our new products. We were prepared to meet the challenges head on to ensure our company's success. These qualities enabled us to weather effectively such stormy conditions and to continue to invest in our future. We were able to anticipate trends and be prepared for the future and that gave, gave us an edge. Despite all challenges, BMW India delivered strong operating performance in 2009 with a carefully planned and successfully executed market entry strategy and consistent sales performance. BMW India has achieved market leadership in the luxury car segment in India. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as I always said, now more than ever, we see that the number one position in the market is not everything. In absolute terms, India cannot compete with other high-volume single markets yet, but the future belongs to India. If you want to benefit from the dynamics of the Indian market later, you need to act today. This is what we did. Our commitment to India was among the strategic decisions that had to be taken right away. According to our approach, production follows the market. We took a bold step in our Asia strategy in 2007. We established the BMW headquarters in Gorgon, the national capital region, the central parts warehouse in Mumbai, and the BMW plant Chennai in Tamil Nadu. Presently, the BMW plant Chennai produces the 3 series and the 5 series in diesel and petrol variants, and the capacity is at 3,000 units in a single shift operation. In medium, term, BMW India has a, a, in medium term, BMW India has employed around 200 people and up to 600 additional people are employed through the dealer and service network. 2007, 8 and 9 were demanding years for BMW India 
and at the same time the most successful market entry for BMW in any country recently. Various activities initiated during this period have provided BMW India with a solid basis and developed a strong foundation. We thus secured an important option for the future growth of the BMW Group. We made great strides in implementing our strategy and this gave us a significant competitive edge that provided us with a clearly formulated vision. Our goals were clear and we had to be consistent to realize them. Our business activities are and will remain focused on the long term. Our business activities are the main trends that are relevant to our business such as demand for mobility and the desire for differentiation which remain unchanged. In 2010, everything we do, we do with conviction. We have the right ideas as well as the entrepreneurial courage to make those ideas a reality. This has been our duty and our mandate since day one. In 2010, we expand the pillars of our India strategy by embarking on an aggressive product offensive rapid market extension, innovative investments into the brand, competitive events, enhancement across all levels, greater customer intimacy, new business opportunities, new investments from BMW Group, and with this we will re resolutely expand our product range and thus cover all the opportunities in the luxury segment which are relevant to us. We will launch exclusively authentic luxury products which are distinguished by the emotional appeal, uncompromising engineering, innovative technology and outstanding quality. Ladies and gentlemen, today at the Auto Expo 2010 we launched the limited edition of the new BMW Gran Turismo in India. One of the elite few will have the opportunity to own one of the 100 exclusive limited edition BMW Gran Turismo. I will unveil the cars in a minute. The BMW Gran Turismo is a completely new vehicle concept, adding unique and distinctive model variant to BMW's product lineup. The BMW Gran Turismo combines the benefits of a prestigious sedan, a modern sports activity vehicle and a classic Gran Turismo, Gran Touring. A coupe-like stretched, a sleek roofline, proportions typical of BMW, four doors with frameless windows and a two-piece tailgate determine the stylish and elegant body design of a Gran Turismo. Today, we also launch the BMW X6M and the new BMW 760 here at the BMW Pavilion. You see on my left the 760 Li and in the right corner the BMW X6. BMW M in principle stands for maximum driving dynamics in every segment in which BMW M is present. For this first time the technological superiority of a BMW M high performance sport car meets the athletic dynamics of an already unique sports activity coupe in the BMW X6 M. As the first all-wheel drive BMW M model the BMW X6 M meets this claim through the application of cutting-edge drivetrain and chassis components that are specially adapted to the character of a sports activity coupe. The perfect transferal of the M philosophy to the vehicle concept has created an absolutely exclusive driving experience, setting a new benchmark in terms of dynamics, agility and emotion. The new BMW 760Li marks the pinnacle of the fifth generation of the BMW 7 Series. The newly developed V12 power unit with BMW twin turbo technology, high precision injection and double VAMOS infinite crankshaft adjustment delivers maximum output of 400 kW from the engine capacity of 6 liter and develops peak torque of 750 newton meters from just 1500 rpm. It's a masterpiece in modern engine technology. Ladies and gentlemen, however, the highlight of the day at the BMW Pavilion is yet to come. Today, we're going to unveil the BMW X1. More important, the new BMW X1 will be CKD produced in the BMW plant Chennai. This means the BMW plant Chennai will produce 
the BMW 3 Series, the BMW 5 Series, and 